Hi there. Later, the end is nigh for Heartstopper. But first, how best to deal with pro football players using anti-LGBTQ plus language? It's led to quite a few bans this year in the main Australian league, but gay South Melbourne FC striker Andy Brennan tells the Football v Homophobia podcast there is the opportunity for something more constructive. People are just getting bans and there's no communication on why that ban's come about. I just don't see how that's going to help other people understand why it's bad. It's not going to help create conversations around the dinner table of why it's bad. And, and they're the things that essentially you need to do because without that, you're not, you're not changing people's opinions. Andy's one of just five out professional male players in the world. The 31-year-old studying for a psychology degree so he can better understand why this is. Canada's One Million March for Children Against LGBTQ Plus Education hasn't quite attracted that many people. Most protest venues across the country saw less than 100, with counter-demonstrations outnumbering them. The campaign coordinated with a group called Hands Off Our Kids they'd been saying as many as two million would take part. It's the kind of optimism that's almost adorable. And the author of Heartstopper has written 50 pages of the final graphic novel. Alice Oseman says she's excited to wrap things up between Nick and Charlie and their friends, but it's also bittersweet. The 29-year-old, who identifies as aromantic and asexual, reckons it's very sad, but it's also time. No, it isn't, Alice. I'm not ready. Get in touch on our socials with your stories and ideas for Pride Daily. Links in the show description. I'm Kev McGrath. See you tomorrow.